Those if they come through One, their opening match two, today. Three, maybe all four. This looks like the best set of Gibraltar players that I've seen. Yeah, certainly the, the youth Uruguay element. We've got the likes of Dyson Parodi, of course, who's been on the block for years. But uh, yeah, plenty of young guns. Here's another one as well. Keen Barry looking at double 16. 32. Only looking at it. So as you require 100. Oh, double double. How about hey, that? Dirty Harris. Second wow. Keen to Two double Rotos. tops, I have to say. That will be a, a helping hand for Keen Barry with this 87. 70 away. 39. Can't find the bullseye. Drives you require 106. A chance here. Yet to miss a dart at double. Only needs one treble. Can he get it? He can. Yes. Double 16. For the break, hey, and there the it is. That could be a pivotal yes, moment in the match. Andreas Harrison, assuming he can get through this one. Ninety-seven. Andreas, you require one hundred. Just tapping him on the shoulder. That has not been a problem for Andreas Harrison so far in this match. He can Ooh. still do it. Well, he can. But it would have been a dart at the bullseye again, which he missed in the previous 52. leg. But. Yeah, just danger signs here for Harrison, with Barry looking at 130. The first start has gone into the treble one, and that just about sums up his day so far. 43. Well, a let off there for Harrison, because Barry had the chance to, well, at least put some pressure on, if not finish things off with that 130. Harrison looking at 64 for the match. And he's now looking at tops. His finishing has been... In the main, pretty good today, Shot. and he's rounded it and off in style as well with tops. Harrison. Started off with tops, tops, finishes it with tops, and Keane Barry. Tops. Superb shot. Good response, though, from Clear Maka, who yeah, has left himself on 187 after six. Yeah, I think Murnan oh, might just be uh, waving goodbye to this leg. He's only got. Uh, well, he's down to 375 after that particular visit. 41. That said, Clear Maka sloppy in response anyway. Yeah, that small three's been hit a couple of times on a 57 attempt. So the tall man from the Netherlands is going to have to figure out how to find that 57 at some point. He might even look at it for this checkout because two of them leave double 16. 60. I'll tell you a corner. 46. Well, his latest attempt at a big finish, and this is going much more his way, and that is. A 146 checkout, ironically, after the missed attempts at 147 and 143, he takes out the 146 and he's back in business. It wouldn't shock me to see the 170 go. And Murnan's not going to get into the finishing zone at all, even with that. Well, it helps his course, but like you say, it's uh, not going to get him down to a finish. Clearmacker, well, 170 is not going to go. And again, he, he seems to have rediscovered the approach play once more. He's on the green, he's looking at 36. But Vernon is just chipping away again and just sowing those seeds of doubt just in case. Hang on. Oh, hang on. 18. Not again. Yo, you require 54. Vernon for another break, gets this. There'll be more breaks. Than the metatarsals of David Beckham's career. Biggest dart of the match. And he gets it. What a game this has been. How many more times can Clear Maka take these shots on the chin to win a match? Just watch. Oh, oh I'm surprised. I'm, I'm Gobsmacked. I really thought that Yo was nailed on. 25. It was almost written in the stars for him, given the finishing that he's produced on occasion today. As it is, Murnan now looking at double eight for a passage into round two here in Gibraltar. He's only got one dart in hand Nine. and he's not made the most of that one either. Three match darts for Murnan. One at the ball, two at the outer 20. ring. And Clearmaker comes with three for double ten. This could be to get him in the Euros as well. Awkward, and he's come Ten. inside, and once again his hopes of European Championship qualification Green are in the balance, 16. and they're now dependent on Joe Murnan missing three darts at double eight. And Clearmacker could be on his way home with an average of 94 here. 
And this Shot. time you hear the cry, and, and this time Joe Mernon, Mernon gets the job done. Yeah. Trouble 17. Doesn't get a shot at the bullseye, and with a 180 in this leg, yes. Yeah, you go on 107. They only get one shot at a 170 to take it. Superb. Not quite able to bank the second one, but he does find the bullseye. I think it's the first I mean, time he's been in today. 69. Maybe worth absolutely nothing. 18. Oh, go in the tens. Okay. Well, that's actually a good guide wow. for the double 15. Superb guide. Oh. <laughs> that is not how you take out 69 by the textbook. And there's a little smile there. And here we go, 120. How much does Hunt want the whitewash? Match dart, double top for a 6 0 whitewash. 100. Just a bit tender. You require 16. So then just getting his fifth dart at a double in leg number six. Still hasn't hit one. Oh, is that, uh, I'm not sure he can hit this. Does he think he can? It doesn't look like a man who thinks he can hit it. You've hit this millions of times here. Double two. 14. Not today. Adam, you require 20. I don't fancy Adam Hunt's going to miss this one. And he yeah, does it right and in the match. middle, and he and does get the job done by six legs to nil. This match like an absolute train, and he's playing better darts than anybody we've seen so far today. So whether he can keep that up over the course of this match. 43. Yeah, Adam Smithfield has had a recent win on the Challenge Tour as well. He's uh, prominent in that Challenge Tour order of merit right now. Lovely double 16 for yeah, well. the second oh, leg, Adam Smithfield. 15 dart so hole, is Adam 12 dart first. break. Game this on. is textbook stuff from the former world master on his Euro Tour debut. Oh, two very wayward first darts there. Pressure on now. He's come inside. He's over pitched it. require 80. Oh, tops, tops. Well, yeah, he said he's got faith there. in his own ability, and, and he's done it again. And that's six, five, five of the legs that he won were breaks of throw as well. If he can master the art of holding throw, may well cause uh, problems moving on in this tournament. Four hundred and ninety. No arm in that room. Might be looking at another tops tops here if this one finds the single, which it does. And again. Oh, oh here we oh, go. Oh, He's back. <laughs> the big dog box. Real mess for both players that Joseph wrote on nicked it, and then Adam Smith Neil might have just got things back on track, and he's on for a potential four visit leg here, which would round things off very nicely. And book his place in round two yeah, to face Johnny know. Clayton I mean, and one, probably put him in the European Championship. And maybe he could finish it in style as well. Trouble 19 not found. 59. But he's uh, effectively two darts away now. We've seen him at the UK Open. We've seen him at the Grand Slam of darts. Adam Smith Neal. Adam Uruguay, 68. We going to see him at the European Championship. Air shot. Looks like we might be in our 6 1 win for Adam Smith Neal. Some very, very impressive stuff. Potential for a first leg hold here for the man from Warwickshire. Tops. Are you two? And the chance oh, for Ryan one. Murray is a slim one. Arguably. The most difficult check out on the board, 167. But it's possible. Oh, right. Oh, there we wow. go. Said the European saw might bring out the best in him. And look at Second that. He's kicked right off with a 167 finish. You don't expect Ted Evitz to miss the next time. You're at, this, at the back of the stage there, Rob, thinking, it's all right. 100. Three darts. I'll take care of this. Let's move on to the next leg. But if he does miss, 
Ryan Murray will lick his chops. Thirty. Hello, Ryan, says Ryan on. Murray. <laughs> if he gets a bullseye here, this hangabout. Hangabout, surely not. Oh. What a way to win it this would be for the one two five. <laughs> what an effort. Well, that said, there's still a chance he might come back anyway because Everts all of a sudden looking very jittery on doubles once again. He's put those fears to bed right there with a double five, but my word, what a way to, what a way to wrap it up that would have been. Finish it in style, having opened in style as well. But Everts may well take this one to a decider. Double 16. Inside by a fraction. And that Ryan might be 60. detrimental. Where does he hit the single? Bit closer this time. Match start. 20. Teddy Kids can't watch. 16. Well, three match starts have come and gone now for Ryan Murray. Everts to save it. Never and down really, and we are going all the way with Everts, and he's got the darts for him, and he looks a little bit exasperated by that as well. Now, mercifully, the 167 can't be found here for Everts, as far as Murray is concerned, but yeah, just wonder how much of a difference that will make. Ryan, you require 97. If he hits a treble 19, all well and good, but hey. And he has hit the treble 19, and he's got two more match starts at tops. And one at double ten. Five oh, match starts have come and gone now for Ryan Murray. And you just wonder how many more he can afford to concede if he gets the opportunity. Everts has already had a shot at this checkout in the match. He's going to get another pop at exactly the same double. Just. <laughs> and said Everts. Match. has Tenemans. just pulled a rabbit out of the hat but now that he's picked up his first title in 10 months you could see the reaction from MVG I, I kind of get the feeling the floodgates might start opening and he would be the player I'd look at to be winning here in Gibraltar this weekend if I'm honest very impressed by that 180 from Patrick Gets to the finish first. No reaction That's from that cuddly toy. Say what you like about that monkey. He does change allegiances, but he does give the best of order. Hang about. Just keep the line good. Double oh. five. Five consecutive treble twenties leaves double five for Patrick Kovac. Oh, 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 And if that somewhere in that man's head that thought is there just nagging away at him he two will know legs. two more legs two more legs and I 60. can do this oh, you're going on 52. but can Rob Cross expose him for the inexperience there's oh, a sign that maybe he can a one five Cross. two out one of the best finishes we've seen today Patrick squirm away back into the river but to drag the entire boat that was trying to land him with him. Now it looks very likely that Rob Cross is going to get this win 95. by six legs to four but what will this game do for the career of Kovac? Will it inspire him to do more in 2022? I severely hope so. 81. Because there is potential there. 86. Potential that could have gone further if he'd found doubles in the previous leg. Well this to run away with it in the end, Rob Cross. With the best leg of the match, it's an 11 dart on a moment of real Rob class Cross. for the three-time major champion. But Players' roots might be for Big Head, though. He doesn't like that double top. Can't get the 51, though. 91. Barjuguan, 26. Yeah, on the sick line. Oh, cry there from uh, Coach Mar as well. First real first sign up. But by and large, he's 
getting down to a double first, and that can often be the well, most significant difference it. between any two players in any given situation. Yeah, I think he's got better as this game has gone on. There's big Boris, and he's looking very, very well placed. I believe that the Croatian is going to win this one. Book his place in tomorrow's action, get to the European Championship, keep hold of his tour card, and we're going to be seeing a lot more of Boris Kritschmar, and we're going to see a lot more even better stuff from him. Bullseye, they love it, the soft tip players. They <laughs> love it, the soft tip players. 6 2, 12 data to wrap things up. It is his dad, ah. his late father, who died quite a few years ago now, but I'm sure Mervyn will confirm that he misses him hey, every not, single hey. day. It's a lovely tribute to his dad, having him on the back of his shirt. I adore it. Yes, yeah, good idea. It's a nice gesture and, uh, yeah, touch of class, that from Merv, to be honest. 56. Talk to Dan Dawson a little bit earlier about the conditions here in Gibraltar, how it's quite humid, the air's quite thick. Don't be surprised if there are some equipment changes from Merv on the fly here in the early portions of this match, just to figure out what weight of a dart, what size of point he needs to acclimatise to this air quality. He, like what? Peter Wright, is very much in tune with what he needs in different air conditions. Was of course the first person to get a nine daughter in the southern hemisphere. Double ten. Game the first He's got leg. it right, all right. And that is a first leg break, a throw off move. Mervin. The back lift here, as you, as you can see, with the right arm coming back, there's only about half an inch before he thrusts the dart forward. I was just going to say, you notice that back leg going up, and then that in turn, and his front leg goes 90. forward, and it, it does seem to knock him forward off his off his balance a little bit. 15s, 5 nil. Game the fifth So well measured. Mervin that was not an easy shot for someone Mervin who throws from first. the middle of the hockey. He is a bit of a biker, is our Merv. He is. And he proved it by wearing a leather waistcoat a la Hell's Angels on his debut. Right out of camera shot there, Mervin King, as he moved all the way over to that right hand side of the hockey. 100. Grimace from the King as he. Registers another ton to get himself down to a ton. Galliano on 304. May well be that it does end 45. with a whitewash in the final match of the Benny session. And Mervyn King might finish things off with a ton checkout to boot as well for a 6 0 win. As he so often does, he switches Get to the shot. 16. The match. Not many players Mervyn can King. do that as well as Mervyn King, but as you said, Paul, he's a seasoned artist.